made our way into the kitchen. We're back with a celebrity chef who's preparing an A-list dish. So simply irresistible. Rock stars love it. You see what I did there. Welcome back, our friend, <laughs> Chef Wayne Elias. Welcome back, Wayne. Thank you. I'm excited to be in the kitchen with you, sir. Very honored. This is a big deal. Debbie Page and LZ are wow. happy. You're rock here stars. already. Yeah. Rock stars. They're the rock stars that I mentioned. But this uh, <laughs> this is going to be served. Steven Tyler's Grammy viewing party. So that's a big deal. Absolutely. It, it, and first of all, rock star royalty right here. Oh, thank you. Yes. Um, oh, it's Wayne. this weekend, the 26th. Yeah. It's an amazing event. It's um, for Steve Tyler's uh, viewing party for the Grammys, and it benefits Janie's Fund, which helps girls around the world heal from trauma or abuse. And it's Aww. absolutely a fantastic event to be yeah. part of. Good for you. Wonderful. Good really, for yeah. you. So yeah, he's a good man, that's for sure. It's ours. And he loves his cod, I hear. I understand. <laughs> he does. So no, it's true, right? In our menu planning, we do work very closely with him. Okay. And he does love fish, and he does love black cod. So I created this menu to work with all wonderful flavors. We have some porcini dusted cod, and we have porcini mushrooms, and we have some trumpet mushrooms, and we did a lot of things with asparagus and a beurre blanc, so you have some Italian, you have some French, beautiful, and California infused. Let's get going. We've got our cod so here delicious. ready to be crusted. So now, you mentioned the uh, porcini dust, so how does that happen? You gotta dry out some porcini mushrooms, blend uh, them up, right? Yes, but actually, they are extremely expensive to buy fresh, so we buy them dry. Oh, you buy them dry, okay. We pulverize okay. them, and what we're going to do is we're going to salt and pepper the fish. Very good. Right? Are and porcini mushrooms more expensive than like the, the other Asian wild ones? Really? Very expensive really. because they're, they're big in Italian cooking. We're only doing one side. Okay. We're going to get this very hot. Here. Now what do we have in there? A little olive oil? A little we have a little olive oil. We're okay. going to sear our fish on the porcini dusted side. Very nice. We're going to brown it, flip it, and then we're going to cook it for five to eight minutes on 350 degrees. Let's get it in there. Do you want to be my yeah, assistant? My yeah, sure. That, so I have to put the uh, the porcini yeah, wait, wait, side wait, wait. down. What would I oh, do? I think you should use your hands. It's a little Oh. oh. <laughs> and now I teach Debbie all the time the same thing. <laughs> That's well, right. I teach Debbie. Oh, you do it the you, other way? So you, it doesn't yeah. see Somebody's paying attention. I did pay attention. It didn't really sink in clearly, but I did pay Always attention. Always the other way because this way if you splatter, you splatter. Onto the, page. The royal ah, Of course. Um, but let me ask great. you this. How long do we have to uh, We're going to see this, this for a minute. You're going to see. See how that's already cooking and browning? Okay. And then when we do put it in the, in the oven to, to bake it, we have to flip it over again. We're going to flip it over and put it right into the oven. For the just. purposes of television, should we just flip it over now? Go ahead. I know can. it's not quite ready yet, so but that's the idea, right? Okay, flip it. Very good, sir. Okay, there you there go. There we go. You can put wow. it right on in. What happened? I did it right, didn't I? There you go. Awesome. Everybody's laughing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, okay. now. This, this sauce, the beurre blanc, is phenomenal. Thank you. Wow. That's what we're going to make right now. One more time, beurre blanc. Blanc. Which is French for white accent. butter. So to make this sauce, we oui, have oui. reduced some shallots and okay. some white wine. Beautiful. And as, oh. as you can see, it's reducing all the way to the bottom. And we're going to shut it off. And now we're going to add some butter and okay. we're going to whisk it in. Do you want to bring these guys over here too? Bring them right all over. This is good. Why it tastes so good, right? And the whisk. And ahead. the whisk. Well, I'm going to whisk while you place my butter. Okay, wait, wait, what? Go ahead. Just you put it in there? Not all of it, just two at a time. Oh, two at a time? All right, that's one. <laughs> There's two. Go ahead, give me more. We gotta do all these two at a time? Yeah, well, you know, because you want it to have a nice consistency. It's a nice okay, little good. butter sauce. Beautiful. We don't want to have a broken butter sauce. What was you? in there first? So we have some white wine and shallots. Mm -hmm. You can add some herbs, and you're gonna reduce it all the way down. You can give me another spoonful okay. is good. Very now, good. Now, a little trick that we do when we're making tell it. Tell us. I'm gonna tell you, that's good. Actually, we don't need any more. Okay. You do not put it back on the stove, otherwise it'll break. So it's Stays room temperature or close to the heat, but never heat it up. Tell us what you mean by break. Break, break, break means, means it's, it's going to get separated, like it's oh. overcooked. Okay. But a little trick that we do on big events, if we have to, we'll add a little bit of cream, which mm. helps keep it and bind it and just give it a little more body. Okay. And this way we're not even worried. It smells incredible. Now, do you want to taste it with your spoon and see if I mean, we need some yeah, salt? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Pepper? Here we go. Give it a little, a little taste. taste. Tell like me if we need some salt and pepper. Oh. Yes, a little salt and pepper. Is okay, that the right we, answer? That's it. To me, it tastes actually great, just like that. But okay, we're gonna leave it just like that. Yeah. All right. So that was yummy. Should we now? Um, now we are going to uh, do a little bit of um, blanched asparagus. That's the plan, right? Yes. So okay. Good. The asparagus is already pre-blanched. It's a process that we do. We boil it in boiling hot water. Yep. We take it out and put it into an ice bath. Keeps it crispy and it also keeps the color. Chef, can I Excellent. ask you a specific Grab, question oh, about it. blanching? Yes. I, I blanch a lot of vegetables. Now, here's, I never know exactly how long I'm supposed to blanch. Is it supposed to be 20 seconds? Is it supposed to be 30 seconds? How long? Because it goes from, like, 
it, it really can change Not, the uh, texture of a right vegetable there. very quickly. And, and back up just a second, what is Blanche? Oh, <laughs> Boiling it really girls. quick and then putting it in um, ice cold water. Right, oh. so after yeah. you boil it really quick, like, uh -huh. okay, it depends on how big or how thick the vegetables are. But basically, you want to just sh Drop them in. I would say not more than sixty seconds okay, because so you want to keep it. You want to shock it. You want to keep it crispy, oh. okay. al dente. You know. So okay. we're gonna plate our asparagus. Okay. So we're doing about let's say five. Very pieces, nice. Right? You're doing a great job. <laughs> would you hire me? Yeah. And let me Cameron grab this. I don't want to burn myself. Right. <laughs> and we're gonna place our fish right on top. Gosh, Excellent. Beautiful. Okay. Then you you've have also got a little variety of some mushrooms we have here. A variety of mushrooms. Tell me about these guys. So these guys, what we're gonna use. I changed the recipe last week. We're gonna be using these trumpet mushrooms, which are beautiful. They're uh, found in Mediterranean, but they're used much uh, more in Japanese and Asian cuisines. Beautifully wow. woodsy and meaty, and they taste great. You cannot eat them raw, because they don't have any flavor. They must be cooked. So oh, inter good. interesting, okay. Oh, they have a lot of flavor cooked. Yes, but not so raw. Yum. Do you want me to hold that while you drizzle? I okay. feel like you should be the one so drizzling. Okay. I was gonna let you decorate. You're very, you're very kind. He's a good man. He's a good man. So but why? I don't want to ruin the, the the work of art here. Why right? do you drizzle over that? Can we talk about the other big event that you do every year? This is the 16th year you will be the executive <laughs> chef for Sir Elton John's yeah. uh -huh. Oscar viewing party that he does with his AIDS Foundation. Do you have any idea what you're gonna be cooking for that? I mean, I'm sure it's right around the corner, you must know. I, it is, it's on February 9th, 1,000 people. We build a village of tents at the West Hollywood Park, and wow. I'm doing an amazing dinner this year. Every year I recreate the dinner because it's a lot of the same celebrities coming, and I wanna make sure that everybody's enjoying the food as much as the cause, which helps raise money for people around the world with HIV and AIDS. So this year, we're starting off with zucchini fritters oh, with an espalette oil I love those. and a yogurt sauce. Mm. And then everybody has a choice of dinner, and they are also the fish entree this year is bronzino, or you get a choice of sh short ribs, which has a kale souffle. And then we go into a salad course. How do you remember all this? But, it, but it's also, is anything yeah. called Rocket Man? Do you know, like rocket well, we do have there, there is rocket Rock lettuce, you know, which yeah, is actually yeah, arugula. Which is arugula. Uh, yes. Not sure. That is so tried. funny. Oh, Let me tell you, know everybody. You just gave me a great idea. When I print the menu, I'm going to call it rocket lettuce instead of arugula. Oh, my oh, God. You're on to oh, something, Rocket right. man lettuce. And I get oh, well, nothing. And Chef, you get to come. Oh, <laughs> wow. Chef, I got to tell you. How's it tasting? Oh, everybody, it tastes as good as it looks, I promise. So good. So phenomenal. This is the best fish I've ever had. It's so good. I mean, I did Oh, you're all invited because one, two, Two, three, all clean plates. Oh, yep. we love. I'll tag you all in my social media. You, have, you can have some. Oh, you're used you get to there, taste the well, no, I need to, you know, why not? You all can find this amazing recipe on HallmarkChannel.com. And if you're in the Los Angeles area, be sure to check out the new season of Wayne's Rockwell Table and Stage Dinner and Music Theater production of Never Been Kissed. Do you remember that movie? With Drew Barrymore? Yes. Oh my gosh, it was so, so good. So cute. It'll it's be such funny. a great venue. It's it so really much fun. Is.